very confident. He's just like, okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna splash the water. Yeah, just splash everything. Yeah. Hello everyone, my name is Patrick. Hello everyone, my name is Yvonne. And in today's video, we will be reacting to an online viral artist. His name is Boo Boo Design, and he has made a huge splash on social media these last two years. Yep, that's me. And then now, let's start with our introductory video. Let's do it. So it's like a no watching painting. Yeah. Splash painting. Ah. Well, I think he's, paint he's painting the man holding the paint as well, I think. Cool. That's very precise. Gorgeous. Oh, impressive. Very Ooh, cool. Wow. Very satisfying ending as well, right? Yeah. How many times he has to pr practice? We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but. Wow. No wonder this one gets over one. I got one million views. So, what do you think, Yvonne? Like, as a first video of him, what do you think about the, the artist so far? The technique is very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, and it's very enjoying to watch him. And, and it keeps you guessing, like, yeah. oh, what's he, what's he gonna paint? Exactly, no, yeah. and, and like, I think uh, the music works well as well. Yeah. And he's very, very intense, very serious, like everyone, no, no talking during the entire video. Yeah. Just, just art. Yeah. Now, let's watch the video that really kick-started his online superstardom. Doing some reps on the dumbbell. Ooh. And do some workout in between. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if all artists would do this, they would all be healed, I'll be jacked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm jacked. I'm jacked. I'm jacked. So, what do you think he's gonna draw now? I have no idea. It must be very tiring. <laughs> like, He's like doing a few reps in the between. Probably another part. I'm so like into it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know, I know, I know who it is now. Who? You'll find out the flip. Oh, <laughs> because you have to look at it. The rock. <laughs> yeah, so that video actually really kickstarted his online mm -hmm. uh, fame because not only is a very interesting video with the dumbbell graphics, which is very fitting for the who he's drawing, but uh, actually the rock himself responded to the to the post, and that got him very popular right away. Wow. Yeah. As you have seen, he's a very unconventional artist who can paint with his hands, dumbbells, and has proven that he can paint with anything, basically. What do you mean by anything? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked. Let me give you a look at some of his quirkier videos. Let's go. Now, let's go. Let's go. No, not the phone. <laughs> it must be an old phone. He doesn't <laughs> want. Jobs? Oh! Yeah, like, oh, he's using the Apple. He's using the iPhone, so he's doing Steve Jobs. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh. Now I get used to see his painting like upside down, yeah. so it's easier for me to guess who it is now. Oh man, in the hashtags, he wrote Stiff Jobs. Oh. <laughs> well, he, he, he's from Senegal, so he's a mostly a, a French speaker. Oh. Yeah. Oh, always, always. Yeah. <laughs> always get a call in the most important moments. Oh yeah. Ooh. Very nice. Chubbier. <laughs> a little, little chubby <laughs> Jaws. Well, he's eating well in heaven, right? Like, yeah. 
in, in a recent interview following this video, he said that he wanted to draw with balls, with boxing gloves, with anything. Uh, for him, art is real freedom. So uh, he actually uh, followed up on those uh, on those sayings, and he actually did a video with boxing gloves. So let's give that let's give that one a look. <laughs> yeah, he's very fit for an artist because all his, all his works requires so much yeah. time. What kind of technique? Right? You gotta be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just like the uh, in between rounds, the corner. Yeah. Rounds. Okay. So that? it's a Floyd Mayweather, but that's interesting because uh, I don't think it looks that great to be honest. Really? For this, for this one? I don't know how he looked like. Yeah, yeah. but I think maybe it's because he got punched in the face so much that his, so his <laughs> face is a little bit deformed. Just like Steve Jobs. <laughs> Just like Steve Jobs. <laughs> but that's very impressive and like very that's fun. That's true, yeah. Yeah, so I can see why he got so popular because he had like all his videos are very unique mm -hmm. and have like have like have a very fo have a clear focus yeah so like whatever he's doing it kind of relates well to what he's painting as well yeah I, I, and i like what he adds to the video like he got, got a phone call and yeah, he's like, like a, you know some ways are helping with the what just like, 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 like in between rounds of corner man yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. getting ready for the next round yeah all right let's go to the next let's go to the next video now <laughs> <laughs> Good handles, good handles. This reminds me of like calligraphy, you know, the, uh, the, the Chinese calligraphy. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the calligraphy painting thing. Right? Yeah. LBJ, LeBron James. To be honest, most of the people that he painted, I don't know who they are. <laughs> oh, really? Probably yeah. because they're mostly from like the athletes. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, like, yeah, it seems so. Right? Like, yeah, yeah, you got like Floyd Mayweather, who's like probably the best defensive boxer of all time. Uh -huh. LBJ, le yeah. basketball, living basketball legend. But yeah, it's not within my knowledge. <laughs> yeah, but other than that, even if you don't know the people, you can still appreciate yeah, the art as well. Yeah, still right? impressed by the technique and the skills that he has, and also it's like um, it's very he's like a very experimental to me. Like yeah. he always try to use the new things to do his painting. No, like a lot of variety and like yeah. and I think it's more like a, it's more uh, also like a, a showpiece as well because mm -hmm. like uh, you paint the, uh, the painting in video and then you can you can once you purchase it you can actually see how you made it like so a very interesting yeah. process. Let's talk about this artist's history while we watch some of his other videos. Okay, sure. Alright, so he said he was always created from a young age. Uh, he said that I used to write on walls everywhere. Eventually, people started asking me to write on their sports jerseys, and he started doing logos for boutiques and stores. Uh, you can see from my most recent work that I love to paint upside down. But before, I used to write upside down as well. I find it easier. Not only easier, but faster too. Faster, ooh. Which is, yeah, yeah, like interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's like a very, like it's a total different world to me. Exactly. Yeah. But, but you can see from his videos, they are quite fast. They're, they're, oh, actually, they're sped up, but like, yeah, they seem quite like quite easy, quite. Flawless, but he looks right? very confident. He's just like, oh, yeah, I'm just gonna splash the water. Yeah, just splash everything. Yeah, it doesn't, and he's it doesn't not, matter. I'm not watching. He's not watching. <laughs> he actually has a video where he does a uh, one of his paintings blindfolded as well. Ah. Oh. Yeah. So he must have practiced. 
a lot to yeah. get that uh, feeling. Ex yeah. I, I believe so too, because and he's only posted. He, he's had his Instagram account for two years, uh -huh. and he's only posted twenty-ish times. So that means that every time he does work, it, it almost takes a month. month. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, one month per week. Uh, he also says, people have called me crazy and say I am just a gimmicky artist. But what's most important is they react and comment. Some commenters say uh, that why not paint with your mouth instead of your hands is a joke by trying to ridicule me. But that's exactly what I did next. The comments give me more and more direction and motivation for his work. Oh, I like his confidence. It's like, although people criticize him, but he always like, oh, I get inspiration from them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so he's like a very... Um, positive person he always like look at the bright side exactly of the well, no, comments, yeah. it's something unique because especially on online like in social media mm -hmm. there's so many negative people as well so you have to like get energy from them and like uh and better your artworks through their negativity as well yeah he also says social media can help but i can also destroy but i found them to be very helpful for me all the works i do go on my social media and helps me spread my message so uh what message do you think he has Mm, to me, I think he mostly paints portraits. So I think he must be someone who really loves people. So that's why he always observe and he always looking at people. Because you know, for artists, I think different people they have different um, areas that they focus on. Mm -hmm. Like some artists, they they like paint the landscape. Some people like portrait. So I think, like you know. To my, uh, my understanding, it's like if someone loves landscape, it means like they love nature. Okay, yeah, yeah that, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, because yeah. The, if you if you in order to paint, you need to observe, and then in order to observe, you need to love. So he must. He, what he gives me is like he's a very positive person, and he loves people, and he always get a uh, strength from negative things yeah, yeah, no. yeah this is a very um, impressive ability no i i, yeah. I agree i know that's a very good point and yeah like, and I, I see he also uses a lot of symbols because i'm 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 sure you don't know much about uh like uh, floyd mayweather and lebron uh, yeah. all the sports but th those are sports icons so like they're uh -huh. like the top of the game so he like he and he also did one for kobe as well uh after kobe's passing so uh, he, he, I think he also tries to do a lot of uh, symbolic uh, portraits as well, mm -hmm. like for the rock, using the dumbbells, all very related, which I quite enjoy. Is <laughs> yeah, but it's just like this. I, I can only recognize Steve Jobs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Well, like, everyone, every, everyone knows Mr. Jobs, though. Yeah. At first, I was like, oh, probably it's because it's upside down, so it's hard for me to recognize them. Yeah. Then, but then when they put it in the right direction, I was like, no, I don't know this person. <laughs> no, no idea, no idea. <laughs> So Ivan, uh, why do you think he's popular and you think he deserves the popularity he has? Because like, as you said, like a lot of his uh, haters call him gimmicky artist. Like, do you agree with those sentiments or like, do you think he's a true artist? First of all, what's gimmicky? A uh, gimmicky? <laughs> yeah. uh, gimmicky is... So like, uh, like you said, like, very showy, showy. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Um, to be honest, uh, as a um, as someone working in the gallery, yeah. so most of, like you will look at pa Pollock, Pollock, yeah. that he uses very unique way to paint. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a very good thing that he experiments different ways of painting. But it, to me, I would uh, because I'm not a very portrait person. Uh, I like, yeah, I like yeah. more abstract art or like more con well, not contemporary, but more like like a very visually challenging mm -hmm. artworks. So his work to me, like the, the, the techniques that he uses is very unique, yeah. but the results that kind of a traditional. Okay. Yeah. yeah like a very, not like a very classic. No, I understand. Yeah. yeah. Cause like a lot of his work is mostly just port a portrait, a portrait work. Right. Yeah. But like, I think, uh, and it's not even like a Picasso or like a yeah. bacon, like it's a very like tortured face, something mm -hmm. like very abstract. Yeah, so yeah, so, yeah they, I, you could do it a little bit simpler, but like uh, to call him a gimmicky artist, I don't think that's true because yeah. art is more of like an expression of your what you're feeling and what mm -hmm. you're observing. Yeah. And like this is what he is observing. He, he wants to express like portrait artworks using his own unique method. Mm -hmm. For each portrait, he uses a special method. So yeah. I think that's that's a very 
like true art art expression. I believe. Yeah, and also on the other hand, it's like different people they like different types of art. Like for me, I like more contemporary, more abstract. But I believe a lot of people they like this kind of like a portrait and all like more classic art. Yeah. So I understand that why he's very popular because, uh, in my to my experience, I think like most people they actually love more traditional like expressions. Yeah. No, I yeah. agree. Yeah, that's true. And like, and this is very simple to understand. It's hard, like. Yeah. So no. Yeah, because. This is also kind of like discussion in art, like it is, should it be very experimental so nobody can understand yes. it? <laughs> or it should be like, kind of like serve the public, mm -hmm. like just to bring uh, like the enjoy of art to the most of the people. But we know that like, uh, if you want the majority of people understand something, it must be easy and simple and something, a kind of the thing that people have been familiar with. No, I, I yeah. agree. But I think he brings a little bit of both of those worlds because he's experimental, but the results are very traditional. Yeah, so, that's so, true. so it's, a, it's a, a good blend of them. To, yeah. So I guess that's the contrast makes people like think, oh, this is so impressive. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So like the the, the workflow is like very technical and mm -hmm. and experimental, but the result is very traditional. Yeah. Which is like a good blend. Okay. Yeah. Oh, great, a great observation. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching our video. If you liked the video, uh, please give us a like and subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>